Danger's late. Stage is early. Looks like her hand and her ankle. Oh, really, there's no, no need to make such a fuss. He's just a veterinarian, but he's all we've got. Oh, thank you. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Well, let's have a look at that hand. Uh-huh. That hurt a little? Some, yes. If it were my thumb, I'd say more than some. You've dislocated it, young lady. How'd you manage that? I, I made a of myself getting off the stage. Oh, the driver's the one who made a fool of himself. Why, he wasn't minding his horses properly. And he hadn't even set the brake. Well, it doesn't matter. What's done, it's done. Oh. <sighs> All right, let's take care of the thumb first. Miss Olson, would you hand me that jar with the cotton in it, please? Yeah. Thank you. Excuse me. Oh, you must be the niece from Chicago we've been hearing about. Yeah, Kate Thorvald. Your aunt didn't warn us to expect such a pretty one. <laughs> well, of course, we haven't seen her since she was a child. And then to have this terrible thing happen the moment she arrives. Uh, doctor, can, can I help you with that? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> now, Miss Thorwald, if you'll just lie back gently. Just a moment. I want to get this bottle out of the way here. It was a pretty sneaky thing to do. Well, with most of my patients, a peppermint stick eases the pain. I didn't think it'd work with you. <laughs> well, now I'll tend to your other hurts. The right or the left ankle, Miss Thorwald? Uh, it's, uh, it's the right ankle. Folks, would you mind waiting outside, please? Yeah. Oh, well, come along, oh. come along. Well, <sighs> well, I don't think this is going to be too serious. Uh, you sure you don't want to be carried? Uh, no, I'm fine. But I could use your shoulder to lean on them. Sure, Kate, okay, I'll help you. Here. Cold it. compresses on that ankle for a day or so. And light exercise, Miss Thorwald. I will. And thank you. How is it that a uh, beautiful girl like that uh, puts her arms around you the first time she sees you? Irresistible impulse. Back east, I used to have to fight the women on. Yes, so? Oh. Tell me, is this a uh, meeting of the Liars Club, or are we going to play pinochle? I play pinochle. I don't know what it is you play. Hmm? What makes a man like Dr. Baker stay in a small town like this? Well, folks around here need a doctor. Need a vet, too, and he's both. Yes, but he could... What? Nothing. I think I'll go for a ride this afternoon. All right? Well, sure. You're here to enjoy yourself. Foxtail, sure enough. 
Now, hold his head still. We'll have him out of jail. Okay. No, you have the makings of a good doctor, young lady. Thanks. When a dog keeps shaking his head like that, well, you can make a bet on it. He's got a fox tail in his ear. There. Three. Nope, four of them. Yep. Nasty little things, aren't they? See the barbs on them? I expect you to stay for supper. Well, thank you. <laughs> I don't know how to thank you for that major surgery, Doc. Well, your invitation to supper is thanks enough. I'm so glad you could be here. Not as glad as I am. Girls, hurry up, finish your homework. I know you want to visit with Dr. Baker after supper. Yes, Mom. Charles, could you bring that stool, please? Mm -hmm. Dark and stew is delicious. Mm. There you go. Thank you. My horse threw me. Come on in. Oh, Dr. Baker. What a pleasant surprise. Hey. Miss Thorvald, won't you sit down? Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm really fine. I just bruised myself a little bit. Well, you're limpy. Oh, it's, uh, it's just from the walk. Actually, all I need is sympathy and a wash. <laughs> Let me take your things, Charles. Do you mind putting some water on to eat? Oh. I haven't been thrown in years. I can't imagine what frightened him. He's probably back at the stable by now. Won't you stay for supper? Oh, I was hoping you'd invite me. It smells delicious. You're invited. Look at people. That's how they find out what's the matter with them. But Dr. Baker was looking right in Miss Thorvald's eyes. Well, she must have hurt one of them. No, silly. I think Dr. Baker likes her. Of course he does. He likes everybody. I think Dr. Baker loves her. Now you're being silly. She's going to sleep. Are you awake? No. 